It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and on my way in this morning, I was behind a minivan that had a bumper sticker on it. Mm. It said, I just child-proofed my house, but the kids keep getting back in. Oh, gosh, those sneaky little rugrats. Well, that's how I feel about this segment. <laughs> you try to idiot-proof it, yeah. but doesn't work. They uh. keep getting back in. So, Brooke, oh, break down the padded safety barrier and tell us what's been on your mind. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys, this story is wild. So uh -oh. a dear family friend of ours passed away about six months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. And, yeah, it sucks, but, oh. you know, life. And it was a really good buddy of my dad. So they organized, like, a memorial golf, mm -hmm. not tournament, but event a for him. Event. Yeah, sure. so there was, like, four groups of mm -hmm. his buddies that were in this golfing thing okay. and my dad was in the lead so uh in the lead group and so at every hole they would leave a little jimmy on the field right or on the course a what jimmy he, that's his name his ashes oh, oh. jimmy's ashes oh, sorry you can like... do that just pour him on well i don't know that you can okay. but they okay. do right? i thought we were just talking about drugs no 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 his name is jimmy and he is in ash form oh, now that's okay, okay. They so they get, around. They, so you're spreading him throughout the course yeah spreading him throughout the course and they get to the 13th hole and this is a hole where jimmy had gotten a hole in one before oh. right so it's a oh, special, special hole and so they pour some ashes out into the hole uh, on the course and then my dad pours out a little beer in memory of him sure. okay <laughs> well the beer and the ashes mix you guys and every group that comes behind them when their ball goes into the hole is then covered in wet Jimmy ashes. Oh, oh it's no. like dirty beer water. <laughs> oh, no, That's worse than beer horrible. water. Right? Oh, <laughs> you have a horrible. Oh, All no. of my dad's buddies are like, Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh, By him adding the beer, yeah. it, it completely messed up the chemistry of everything. Like, the beer wouldn't no. have been added. Everything would have been fine. Everyone, it, the ashes would have stayed at the bottom. Yeah. But yeah, no. Oh, no, God. so. Oh, they, I love your dad. Yeah. Good intentions. So that is just something that my family, I don't think, will ever live down. Jimmy's laughing and from upstairs, He though. is. He He's is. loving this. So, just a warning if you ever have the memorial golf thing. Don't, don't mix pour your a relative little out. ashes with beer. Yeah, I Thanks think that goes without saying. No one yeah. needed to hear that. No one needed that message. <laughs> this is my family, and I just love it. I love it, too, Oh, man. my God. It's Jose, just too funny. what's been on your mind? So I got a new AC unit in my apartment, and as they're installing it, one of the maintenance guys takes a liking to me, and he starts to share some, let's say, life advice with me. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah, right. He's and, looking around and being like, this guy needs some help. Well, mm -hmm. no, I, I had mentioned lunch. Like, oh. they had said something about food. I'd just gotten home from work. Okay. And so I was like, oh, yeah, I opened my fridge and I showed him all my pre prepared meals. I'm yeah, like, yeah. yeah, I use this service. I get these like healthy yeah. meals. And he's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't microwave those, do you? Oh. And I go, well, yeah. I do. I do. And I know it's not that good. He's like, it's actually not about the eating. Anytime you're near a microwave, oh. you should be at least 10 feet away from it. Okay. I go, 10 feet? He's like, yeah, they should make windows and microwaves illegal. Because what? most people see a window and you walk up and you watch it. But microwaves are going to kill us all. Dude, that's and I'm like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. But I, I feel like that's how my mom raised me. Like, definitely <laughs> scared of the microwave. <laughs> well, then he says... And by the way, are you drinking tap water? And I'm oh, like, yeah. Oh, here we go. He goes, you know, we're all made of water. Yeah. Water yeah. is all of us. Yeah. yeah. So, we're getting deep. so if you're drinking bad yeah. water, you may be grumpy. Oh. You may be off someday, and oh. it could be because you're putting bad water in your body and okay. you're made of water. Yeah. I mean, so I'm like, okay. oh, I guess that's a good point. Sure. We're, I mean, we're pretty lucky. Appreciate that pretty, it. And then okay. it's like, also, <laughs> dairy is the worst thing ever invented. Okay. And I'm getting um, to the point that where it's I'm like, invented. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you know, cheese, delicious. I love it. I used to eat it. It's going to kill us all. Oh, Dairy wow. will be the death of all of humanity. So my microwave nachos, I should probably not wash down yeah. with a glass of tap water. <laughs> Do no. not. So okay. anyways, um, my AC unit works great. Okay. He did so, get around to eventually yeah, yeah. fixing the no, no, no. AC. How it long works. was he there for? Uh, it was a while. Yeah. I just kind of kept smiling uh -huh. and nodding. Yeah. But it yeah, works. That's so okay. That's don't good. Eat, don't eat cheese or drink any water. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Alexis, <laughs> what's yeah. been on your mind? Uh, I realized I have a new pet peeve now that's oh. going to 
irritating oh, me. Oh, Uh-oh. I have some friends that, okay, don't reply to me for, you know, a day, two days, sometimes longer. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which is fine, except then when they text back, they're like, sorry, I was busy, you know? Mm. Okay, not it, after two exactly, days. Exactly, <laughs> thank you. It's like, I know you're not busy for that long. Yeah. And so it just annoys me that they're saying that. Like, just say you didn't want to reply. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, or I or, forgot. Or don't say anything at all. Okay. Sometimes I mentally yeah. you don't. I don't think yeah. you're understanding how upsetting this is for us. Maybe they are busy. No, though. they're not, though. I mean, maybe not they're busier than you are. No, one of them took five <laughs> days to respond, and she was busy for five, too busy no. for me yeah. for five days. <laughs> you it's would just, rather people say directly, Alexis, you're annoying, I don't want to talk yes, to you. Yes, because at least it's not a lie. I yeah, know okay. they're lying when they I say I know you're it. blowing up their their inbox, so you're oh, probably one of those that oh. texts like five different things oh, to finish one I started sentence. sending the Kermit jumping off a building, and I said, if you don't reply, <laughs> this is what's going to happen. I am threatening them now to reply to I bet they have a not Alexis thread going without you right now. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. I bet they text back that sooner than they text me. I hope one of your friends just to respond with, this text is not important for me to respond (laughs) to. It's still better than what I'm getting. I'm annoyed. Uh, All right, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? I keep getting random text messages from a number with a 954 area code. Okay, where's that? That's Fort Lauderdale because I looked it up. They keep reaching out asking if I can cover their urology patients for them. Oh no, Jeff, like, this is wait, bad. Like you're a doctor? <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. and, and I haven't responded to it yet. Oh. But are you thinking about a side hustle? I was thinking maybe <laughs> I should do it. No, Jeff, you can't. Because this radio thing, let's be honest, it's not going to last forever. Dude, I heard <laughs> u- u- urology, it's hard to say, is like where the money's at. I bet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but eventually gross. this show is going to end, and then what am I going to do after this? Just be urology. a fake doctor. I think that sounds great. <laughs> Sometimes an opportunity falls in your lap for a reason, and you shouldn't pass it up. What if the universe is telling me, Jeff, you are meant to be a urologist. Uh, this is yeah. your true calling. You're, you're not. I don't know. I think that, you know, it's in Florida. I'm sure there's some loose credential situations <laughs> yeah. happening there. Right? I have a lot of doctors <laughs> in my family. I went to private school. How hard could it be? You know uh-huh. your, your urology. Yeah. Do you? I've got a body You've with, with parts. <laughs> yeah. I'll try some stuff out on me and then oh, do wow. it on the patient. But imagine right. somebody getting their ural checked out by you. Yeah. And they're they just would like, be so lucky okay. to have it checked out <laughs> by you. Aren't Aren't you the guy you see the prank phone calls? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm into a different field now. Yeah, no, just turn and cough. So I like sorry. it. I might just reply, I'm free this weekend. Just give me the address again. Oh. Oh, oh boy. Okay. I, okay. I'm, I'm here for it. So, if any, I'm here if for it. If anybody has a urology appointment yeah. this weekend, I mean, cancel mm-hmm. it. It's weird that they want to meet you in a back alley, Jeff, <laughs> Yeah. But I'm down to, you know, motel. get my feet wet however. Yeah. Oh, oh, I don't think that you want to get anything don't wet. Don't get in anything that. wet. Text in 78592. Tell us what's on your mind. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.